right guys welcome back half fast 719 want to do a little tool review bought this grease gun at the AutoZone and uh, it's 28 bucks and it's pretty nice I was gonna get one of those fancy schmancy ones it was 32 bucks or 38 bucks and then I saw that this one has, uh, you can select between volume and pressure. And, uh, yeah, anyway, so I thought that was pretty cool. Hose, everything's pretty cool. Flexible hose, I think this one was 28 bucks. Um, it does have a cast aluminum uh valve mechanism and uh everything is sealed everything's got o-rings gaskets you got an o-ring and gasket between here and here uh you do have to tighten everything down everything did come loose so just little things like this this is kind of a pain in the butt to get out um but i'm gonna show you guys how to uh basically make one of these I got this from uh, putting some in installing the Ram man manual locking hubs uh, you can go watch my video the drunken Ram go to the playlist this will be on a tool list my tools and then you want to see the hub conversion wheel bearing conversion for manual locking hubs Alright guys, so my battery died. Anyway, this is the grease gun. It's a Lumax. Lumix. Um, LX1153. It's a dual leverage premium pistol, premium pistol grease gun with 18 inch high pressure hose. Uh, so basically this dual leverage means that, and it shows right there, you can either have volume is up, just rock it a little bit, or pressure. So it'll just give it more pressure or more volume, um, whichever you prefer. That seems to be a little bit better, the pressure side, the volume pressure just basically moves the handle out more so just uh, does a little geometry change the pivot angle so this will just go you know push the plunger in and it'll be volume whereas if you need pressure it's shorter throw so it's just more leverage so anyway um, yeah so this is the little fitting that the Ram Man sends you <clears throat> um, little zerk fitting to grease hubs but anyway we won't get into that you can watch my next video where I talk about how to grease bearings and stuff anyway you can uh, I believe this is to to fill this to refill it you can refill it through this port um, I think uh, don't quote me on that it doesn't really say anywhere this all oh, right here uh heavy duty loom loom cast tm cast molly head this is develop develops up to 8500 psr psi um handy three-way loading standard cartridge suction or bulk feel fill so i'm assuming uh these play into part bulk fill maybe this you hook that up to something I've never seen this done this is I believe you're bleeding um anyway uh, I don't know where that was at so it says rugged chrome plated finish handle for maximum protection against corrosion deluxe oil resistant contoured grip for comfort and sure grip sure handed grip Equipped with air bleeder valve to vent air pockets in the grease chamber. So that's that's what that is. 
so that'll push out any air. Um, let's see. Heavy gauge steel barrel, 1.3 millimeter. Wide band, non slip knurling for sure grip handling. Tough full molded follower allows a superior seal and eliminates grease bypass. So I'm assuming that's the piston in there. Um, heavy duty follower spring for consistent priming. So the plunger that's in there, whatever, is better. Posi lock follower rod for ergonomically designed T handle provides positive grip and easy filling at any position. Four hardened jaws hydraulic coupler with ball check. I don't know what that is. Sounds good though. Um, non grip cap, non drip cap. So I believe that's this which is a lot more stout than the one I had um anyway volume mode which uh, does four ounces per stroke volume mode four ounce 115 gram oh a hundred strokes so you get four ounces for a hundred strokes at 2800 psi and then for the pressure mode, you get two ounces at a hundred strokes, so it's basically cut in half um, with 8,500 psi stroke. I know you guys can't read that, but anyway, that was pretty cool. Pretty neat, nifty little $28 one. Um, the aluminum ones that were more expensive, uh, they didn't have that selector thing and they were all fancy schmancy and one had a sleeve on it that said sure grip and I grabbed it and it was sliding up and down so whatever um but anyway so that's the part Lumax grease gun pretty cool the spring has a lot of pressure it took quite a bit of force to get that spring to retract to load the grease cartridge um so anyway Bought that AutoZone. Pretty cool little grease gun. Um, my other grease gun is just a standard pump leaking grease gun. That thing leaks everywhere. Um, but anyway. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this uh, little tool review. Paid 28 bucks for it. Probably 30 bucks out the door. Um, plus a thing of grease. I bought some super green, green grease, whatever it's called. It was like... 13 bucks for the tube so but they have grease there for like three or four bucks so say 35 bucks you have a grease gun with grease and uh, that's gonna be it all right guys thanks for watching subscribe comment check out this video where I show you guys how to protect and lube and grease your guys wheel bearings to save and to get more life out of them um, that video will be next all right guys thanks for watching Subscribe later.